All right, guys, what's good? Another video, and gonna, gonna see if we can get some of this yellow back with Baraza. This is actually a character I've like kind of just always had on. I, I would almost say like standby for a really long time. I uh, I I pulled him out at BCX. I ended up pulling him out in ones and twos, which I never really. I don't want to say I never thought I'd pull him out in ones. I just realized how like you think online like dex doesn't matter but when you get on land and like everything just feels 10 times smoother and therefore like you end up seeing characters like baraza or when you play characters like baraza just these lower three four dex characters it doesn't feel nearly as bad so i figured i'd give baraza some love uh Dominating. do a video with him i don't know if I don't know if I'll actually like play him at all when Dreamland comes around. Um, I think I'm mainly gonna focus more on Spear, so we'll see. Okay, who is first? Dark Fire. Never played the guy. Interesting, interesting. Three, two, all right. One, Both playing Skyforge on the like darkest map in the game. They need to lower the ceiling also. That is something that needs to be done ASAP. Ooh. I like that Chase Dodger Vine. For sure. Default Diana looks so good in that coloring. If I do say so myself. And I whiff it. I have I need to freshen up on my blasters. I miss that so much. And I feel like it's it's like everything else i feel relatively good about on my blasters but that is that is something i just need to be way more consistent than i am with okay. oh i actually almost i almost literally expedited off the stage nice dude uh there uh. Almost. Dare, dare. No, he's not going up, is he? Actually, the smartest thing he could have done. I'm glad he didn't jump. That would have been just very sad, getting hit by the full charge. I think Diana's bow... I mean, this is probably to the surprise of no one, but Diana's bow definitely looks to, like... It has, like, the best flow, I think, with signatures out of any bow character. <laughs> Although, it, I mean, it doesn't matter when Braza is hitting like that, so. Oops. Ensig? Nope. I like Braza's options a lot. I think I should have side sig there if I was going to do a sig. Bow right now in ones is, I mean, it, it's such a, it's so filthy to say the least. Like, it's so good. I think it's definitely flying under the radar. And I think it's one of the, uh, for sure, one of the, like, best ones weapons in the game. Now in twos, with, like, with the easy weapons being the best, uh, you know, axe, hammer. Morgan Tan recording. With Axe Hammer being like some of the best weapons in the game, and Lance too, um, not only are they easier, but they are just like better in twos than like a harder, uh, I, what I think is to be a harder weapon like bow. Um, it's just like the only person you see playing bow in twos is Remy. And I, I, I think he finds success mainly because he's just played it for so long and like he just knows matchups really well which is good for him um but it's just you can still run into like you run into so many problems with bow if you're like th there's a basically there's a reason it's just him playing it you know and i'm gonna eat all of that yeah because i missed my punish oh oh yeah ember also 
I mean, Ember and Sig in reality has such a good flow. Jeez. Oh, I misclicked. <coughs> I misinputted. Nope. Oh, it tipped me. Yoink. That was actually close. Yeah. Axer. Oh, he didn't actually touch. That is surprising to me. Not gonna lie. Let's play Axe. Actually, now I think about it, I don't know what the uh, Axe bow matchup is like, if I'm being honest. Oh, oh, oh. Stay above him. Okay. Hard to do anything if I'm floating above. D sig? Pure type of guy to D sig me. Oh, he did it the other way. Hmm. Okay. I mean, one or two things on guns can definitely do this. Or axe. Actually, it actually doesn't matter with Peraza. Yeah. Like, that is something else, if I'm being 100% honest. Let's, I'm going to swap the blasters here. Nair. I was hoping to get a second air off that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. He, he got away from it. He avoided that, too. That was nice. Wow. I didn't know that caught. I was actually just going for the Hail Mary, if I'm being honest. I can't believe that actually caught him. That is surprising to me. I did not know that picked up that low. Alright. Well, I mean, GG's. He, I mean, he played that just about as well as he could. Um, I will say, I've noticed something about myself when I play into bow. Is that I eat... I, I'm always someone who's so eager to, like... Like, say I get put up here with bow, right? I'm always someone who's... Or not, I don't even say I have like I'm right here, right? I have my options, but I'm so eager to like get back down I'll just fast fall and then people on bow will just end light and light and light pretend it's a bow and light and light, right? And it's like like I'm just I just constantly like fast falling and if the bow player is good enough They're just like keeping me up in the air just juggling me and I eat probably at least three or four end lights before I actually get down so Definitely a habit like I need to break. Um, I mean, the easiest way I think for me to like break something like that uh, is just like tell myself like, yo, like don't don't fast fall here, you know, like don't do this here, don't do that. Um, just stuff like that, really. Okay. He has no dodge, so I'll take recovery. Oh, Adre. He actually dies. No, Apoc actually saving Grace. I think I could have caught that, actually. Yep. All right. Um... Ah, well. He jumped. Ooh, falling stair almost got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I was more afraid of the cider. Yep. That like weapon throw lob is something you see a lot of people doing now, I think. Um, and it is, it's fantastic. It's, it's really, really good. It, it takes away like options in the air really well. Okay. Yeah, another, another? He's like me, he likes to just throw out dare. I respect that. Dare on spear is definitely worth it to do that sometimes with. I don't know if I should have taken recovery there. That, I mean, I could have just killed him with if I did my move right. Is he gonna go up? He's gonna go up for me. Ready, ready, ready? Oh, well. That reminds me, when are they gonna remove or just like change weapon throws? Because they are so corny. Oh, and that is super strong. He was also like beat red, so. I mean, he was going to die to it even if it wasn't as heavy hitting as it was. But it is that heavy hitting, and he died. So, okay. One more game. Oh, Pierre again. He's hopped on his Mordex, which I think is one of his more played characters. Three, two, one. Uh, I think I saw him, like, make a tweet or something about, like, Lin Fei. Uh, I, how he, I, he wants, like, he wishes, like, in Winters he would have... Um, Stuck to Linfei or something, or he thinks he's gonna stick to Linfei, which I think that's a good pick. Linfei is really, really strong, uh, for sure. So, Mordex, though, also, um, oh, I fed that really bad. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you can't mess that up against Barraza. I think this matchup is actually a lot, like, pretty hard. Because Cody Travis has now beaten Sandstorm on, bo like, both offline and online. Um, now, I don't know if they, like, rematched each other, or if they... I don't know how many times in total they've played, but I think Cody might just have a winning record at, at worst, or at, at best. Cody has a winning record. At worst, I think it's even. Um, yeah, if you guys know about that let me know uh because i'm actually curious i mean i guess i could just ask cody but if you guys know then yeah just post in the comments if cody has a winning record against sandstorm because he i mean cody's just been a beast lately in general but i think that like i think cody i think cody i mean obviously was playing barraza but i think sandstorm was playing fate this time around into Cody. I think Barraza just... The way Cody plays combined with just Barraza's high defense um, and, like, lockout ability, just, like, to shut you down, is super good. Go up. And, like, ground pound. He's dead. Wow. That was... I don't know if that... What's considered a callout? Because I was going to say, oh, that's such a callout by me, but I don't even know... When that term should be should be used, because I I feel like I didn't really call anything out. I just kind of like went for it and it worked, you know. I respect that. Tried to turn it around. That is tough. That is even tougher. And that kills. Wowzers. Win.